Hey, um, okay, I just want to re quickly review uh, three comics that I picked up uh, last week. And, uh, of course, with the deadline of new comics coming out tomorrow, um, I figured I'd go ahead and finally get around to it. Okay, we're going to start with the good. Astro City, uh, number 50, uh, art by Brett Anderson, great cover by Alex Ross, and, of course, brilliantly written by uh, Kurt Busiak. Um The wonderful thing about Astro City is that um, Busiak never forgets that there are actual, that there are people um, who are affected by what the superheroes and supervillains do. Um, in this case, there's actually a support group uh, like Alcoholics Anonymous or, or something like that, um, where people who have been affected uh, by uh, the, the fights and the invasions, things like that, can come together, talk about their feelings, a sort of like grief, uh, grief counseling. Uh, it's absolutely great. I mean, you know, all these people are affected, uh, tell some of their stories, and then uh, ties into what's going to be a, a, a three-parter uh, involving the uh, the aftermath of uh, uh, a recent, uh, the recent, most recent storyline. Um, absolutely great, and and that's the thing of like unlike uh, Marvel and DC, uh, these people aren't collateral damage. Uh, they're real people. Well, comic book, but they're they're they're, they're real people affected by real events. Um, and they have to move on. They have to deal with it. And some people can and some people can't, just as with, uh, with grief. Um, and uh, I know what that's like. So anyways, uh, if you're not already picking up Astro City, uh, you really should. Uh, all the past issues are collected in trade paperback. And uh, as I say, pick up number 50. It begins a three-part storyline. A second one, odd one. Uh, this is a four-issue uh, miniseries. Um, Anthony Bodan's uh, Hungry Ghosts. Uh, it's a series of um, horror stories, uh, many of which are taken from uh, Japanese uh, folklore and legend. Uh, a, uh, a Russian oligarch um, brings in uh, a dozen or more chefs to cook an uh, extraordinary meal for his guests and then ask them to take part in what uh, an old samurai tradition uh, called uh, the game of 100 camels. Uh, can't <laughs> what, they bring in camels! <coughs> and that's part of the feast. No, uh, the game of 100 candles, uh, in which case each chef um, takes a turn telling a, uh, a ghost story or a story of the supernatural. Um, and after that, he blows out the cam candle, looks in the mirror to see if he has become um, affected by the spirits and uh, moves on. Nicely done. As I say, it's, it's only four issues. Um, each story is different. Take pl it takes place during different eras, uh, diff different <coughs> time periods. Heck, there's even a story about pirates. You can't go wrong with that. Um, so uh, I highly recommend it. As I say, each, uh, Anthony Bourdain and Joel Rose are the writers. And uh, each uh, of the uh, <clears throat> stories is done by a different artist. So as I say, um, check it out. The first of the Burger books by Karen Berger, as, who's the main editor. And uh, once again, she's very successful. Okay. Now at the bottom um, of the heap, at least of what I've read so far of the last week's, uh, last two weeks worth of comics, is the first issue of Damage. Uh, okay, I actually wrote this down. Uh, this is the first issue of the book. This is supposed to introduce the character and blah, blah, the origin story. Uh, okay, $2.99, you get 20 pages of story. Up that... Um, First of all, there's a six-page preview of another book. <clears throat> there are three double-page spreads and two full-page, uh, which includes the last one. And yes, spoiler, uh, it shows that uh, 
Amanda Waller is going to call in the Suicide Squad to go after this guy. Well, we've read the Hulk, um, and uh, there's two writers on this book. I mean, you got two writers, and this is what you come up with? A Hulk, uh, a Hulk ripoff? Um, anyways, that's it for me, and we know what that means. Toss. That's it for me now. Uh, we'll see what I pick up uh, tomorrow. And uh, peace out. Check Oh, check out the trailers for uh, Solo and uh, Mission Impossible 6. And, um, oh, I happen to like uh, the Cloverfield uh, Paradox. So I'm in the minority. Bye-bye.